I picked up this post Versatrig slide rule in a bin of rusty tools at a local thrift store. This is the second time I've found a slide rule in with a bunch of old rusty tools. I think maybe whoever takes the donations think there's some kind of a measuring device, which I guess in one sense is correct. Fortunately, this one is all there, although it's pretty difficult getting it out of the leather case. I think some kind of a critter has taken up resonance in the case and made it a real tight fit. The cursor glass is intact and all the parts seem to be present and in reasonably good shape. These things have always fascinated me. In fact, any kind of precision instrument like this I'm fascinated by. When I was in college a long time ago, all the engineering students would carry these things around with them. And so, let the cleanup begin. First, I'm going to remove the cursor. Yes, that's right. This part is called the cursor. Next, I'm going to remove the screws that hold the top and the bottom of the slide rule body together. Once the top part of the body is taken out, you can remove the slide. I'm using the Dremel tool to clean up the metal pieces on the ends of the slide rule body. I'm using Q-tips and a mild detergent to clean up the cursor in pieces. Q-tips and mild detergent were also used to clean up the slide rule body and the slide. I had to resort to a fine Scotch-Brite pad to clean up some of the dirtier parts of the body. Here I'm using some lemon pledge to put a protective coat on the slide rule. It makes it smell good too. I mean, come on, who among us hasn't wanted to smell their slide rule occasionally? Here I'm cleaning up the cursor frames with the Dremel tool. Yeah. 
Now it's time to reassemble the slide reel. Now for that leather case. First I'm going to clean it thoroughly with plain water. The sides of the case have come apart, which is probably just as well because it needs to be cleaned inside anyway. I'm clamping the sides of the case together and will leave the clamps on until it dries. I'm using some saddle soap to clean the leather case. Here I'm re-dyeing the case with black leather dye. I let the case completely dry in between each of these steps. Even though this case was leather, it was not stitched together. The two sides were attached with some sort of adhesive, which has failed at this point. So I'm going to try to reattach them. Super glue didn't work, so I wound up using contact cement, which worked just fine. Now I'm going to work in some Neat's Foot Oil to help soften and preserve the leather.
I'm incapable of leaving well enough alone, so I'm going to put a coat of black shoe polish on the leather case. A slide reel is a mechanical analog computer. They're fascinating devices and they were in very common use for engineers and mathematicians before uh, digital handheld calculators came along. Here's a demonstration of how to use the slide rule for a simple multiplication problem. Place the right index, which is the 1, on the C scale over 5.5 on the D scale. Move the cursor hairline over 3.5 on the C scale and read 192.5 on the D scale. It's your responsibility to get the decimal point in the right place. Here is a simple division problem. Place the cursor over 77 on the D scale. Then move 3.5 on the C scale under the cursor. Now you can move the cursor to the left index on the C scale and read the answer 22 on the D scale. You can do much more with these devices than I know how to do. I hope this maybe will inspire you to learn a little bit more about them.